Now to Greece, where Parliament has voted to legalise same-sex marriage, making it the first Orthodox Christian country to do so. The law change was opposed by the Orthodox Church, which claimed it would threaten what it called traditional families. But supporters say the change is long overdue and a significant advance for Greek society. Joy on the streets of Athens as crowds celebrated a milestone moment for same-sex couples. Supporters watched the vote from outside Greece's parliament, bursting with pride as the results came through. So, when you come and change the very identity which God gave you, it's a crime, not only a sin. That's why the church cannot accept such things. The Lord will never accept it. Period. Every human being knows they flourished, they multiplied, they increased because of a male and a female. Everybody knows this. We didn't come out of two females or out of two males. This is absurd. Naturally, it is unnatural. Naturally, it is unnatural. So when someone comes where God has made that person as a male and he says, I'm not, I'm a female, he has changed the identity which the very God has given him. Now this will make God himself angry and he will come himself and punish. Because it wasn't a human doings, it was God's doing. This human identity. And this human identity has got to do with his image and likeness. So now you're dealing with God himself. You are challenging God. Well, who do you expect to come and punish you? God. That's why God went to Sodom and Gomorrah. Do you understand? Okay. But we need to pray for them. I'm not going to go and, and be against them or, or hurt them. No, no, I'll love you. I'll pray for you. But listen. My God does not tolerate such thing. He burned Sodom and Gomorrah to the ground. You cannot change what God has made. And if you try to change it, you're playing with fire and fire will burn you. And that's exactly what happened to Sodom and Gomorrah. So please don't put it in other different colors. You guys are judging. You guys are discriminative. Just man, go and have a fish burger and a chocolate sundae and get alive, man. The world has lost the plot. But what is more sad than all of this, the Christians have lost the plot. That is the saddest part of all. So-called churches embracing the six-color rainbow. I will never call them churches. I don't give one penny who you are. Yes? And if I see you, you better not stand in my way because I'll bury you. What kind of Christian are you? No more real men. I don't know what happened. Can someone come and tell me? The Lord said it a long time ago. We, we've, been, we've been talking about the book of Revelation quite some time and God willing will come back next year to complete it. Read the last, the last stage of the church, the Odiki. The rebellious church. The Lord said it 2,000 years ago. He said, my church in the end of times will deny me. We are witnessing this before very our own eyes. Today, any church leader, any clergyman that speaks the truth is being silenced, is being persecuted, is being deposed from the church. For speaking the truth. They are being deposed by their hierarchies. Wow. Well done, popes. Well done. What has become? The Lord, He knew. In the end of times, the church will walk away. That's why the church is in turmoil. It's very weak.